Good evening and thanks for joining us at 6 tonight. I'm Lauren Adams. The government is almost certain to shut down this weekend. That will leave millions of U.S. service members without a paycheck. 25 News reporter Adam Schindler shows us how a nonprofit in Colleen is doing what they can to help out. Far too many of our service members and their families struggle with food insecurity every day. And that stress of wondering where their next meal will come from will get even worse if the government shuts down. More than 50,000 active duty service members, contractors, and families work or live on Fort Cavazos. Many of them may soon face food insecurity, and that's something Operation Phantom Support is trying to help with. Well, the biggest thing we have is we have a food pantry that runs every Saturday, four times a month. So that'll help families out a lot because they'll be able to come here each month or each week uh, to get food to make sure they have enough food for their families. A struggle that Linda Valentine knows all too well, having been a military spouse and mother for decades. One of the biggest things that impacts the military is their food insecurity. We didn't call it that 40 years ago, but we lived from paycheck to paycheck and you were in the commissary with a pencil and a pen trying to figure out how much you could spend on your groceries. The Valentines had money coming in then. Now her heart is breaking, thinking of all the military families that might suffer because their income could stop if the government shuts down. Your phone bill, your electric bill, um, gas bill, uh, your gas to get back and forth to work, all that comes out of your budget, out of your monthly check. So I don't know where they think people are going to get this or who's going to allow them to continue on without paying. OPS is shifting money from most of their other programs to keep the food pantry open during this time. But even they will suffer financially because they rely on donations from service members to operate. We as soldiers and veterans are all chipping in to help each other's families. But if all of a sudden our income goes away, we can't chip in anymore. So we're gonna need organizations and businesses to step up to help us. Help them help military families in need. A cause Linda Valentine holds dear, and that's why she has a message for families like hers. Just want everybody to know that um, Operation Phantom Support is here, and we are planning to help every military family that comes our way. Operation Phantom Support is doing all they can to help, but you can also reach out to local veteran organizations like VFW if you need assistance. In Colleen, Adam Schindler, 25.